Are you lemon? Are you atheist? It's easy for you to say you do the right thing when you've got mega bucks in your bank account and when your life is going oh so fine and you're doing what you want to do with, it li with your life. But let's see you get a terminal sickness or just walk a mile in my shoes and see if you all, we all do goody two shoes. Then, then you'll have my respect. Right now you have my cynical mocker, mockery. It's easy to be good when you got it good. When you got it, I do. Not so easy if there's no life after death. Do you fucking get the picture? Well, let me take that back. You might not be filthy rich, but you are not having to live from paycheck to paycheck. Check. You got a nice, comfortable nest egg. You're doing what you're doing with your life. What makes you happy? You're fulfilled inside. Easy as pie. To love the world and care about everybody else. Then, but walk a mile, walk a year in my shoes, and see if it's still for the same fucking way. I bet you my life you won't. When you're no longer able to do what you love to do, in my case, sing, rap, and make videos without your head filling up with a pressure, no doctor can tell you what the fuck is wrong. And you start to feel like you want to pass out. Constantly worried about having another stroke. Let's see you care about everybody else then. Hmm? Look, I can't give it I can't give it out give out what I got. It's easy for you to give it out. People are giving it to you. I ain't getting shit but pain. Atheist Lee, I got Asperger's syndrome. One of the flaws of Asperger's people is they cannot empathize. Some with Asperger's would have watched the footage of 9 11 unfold. And they would have been thinking, no one I knew died, no one I loved died. Why is this crap preempting me from seeing days of our lives? Let me put it to you in a picture risk way. If you can understand why. There is nothing worse than dying in oblivion. Game over. No more getting up on stage and hearing the girls scream not my name. No more drinking coffee and I love my Starbucks coffee. No more eating pizza and I love some pizza. No more girls coming up to me, talking to me, stroking my ego. No more family get-togethers, no more eating watermelon, no more smelling the flowers, no more walking down the trails. I love the, I've created no more creating YouTube videos, no more writing songs, no more hope of ever becoming a celebrity, red carpet celebrity, and meeting Katy Perry. And I'm supposed to give up all this for some high-minded notion is because it ain't right to steal to get the life-saving surgery I need to keep from dying so I don't have to lose all the above mentioned huh you're full of shit like I said now now if I have I have her now if I ever I get the chance. I, I just want my time to shine before I die. Now, if I've had my time to shine, shine brighter than the Beatles in the sun, fulfilled all my dreams, and then, then maybe I'll have enough goodies to be willing to sacrifice my life for somebody else who is not my family or somebody I love. Maybe. But name this face the statistic dying. I don't give a damn. They say you hate the others. The flaw you see worse than yourself. My worst flaw is become dying and becoming just a nameless, faceless statistic. Never made it famous. And nobody ever knew or gave a damn about who I was. Therefore, I don't give a damn about people 
Well, I can't put a face in the name too. And since HSD, none of y'all goddamn motherfuckers give enough, give enough of a fuck about me. Is each one of y'all donate five fucking dollars to my goddamn GoFundMe account. It all adds up so I can get stem cells, so I can do this video without feeling woozy headed like I want to pass out, so I can get up on stage and rap and have girls scream my name and feel good about it. Now I feel this immense pressure in my head. Don't give a fuck enough. You don't give a, enough of a fuck about me. I'll be goddamn. I, if I give a god fuck about any one of y'all goddamn motherfuckers, you don't love me. Give me one goddamn reason why I should give a god fuck about any of y'all.